Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Enosha for those who are new here and today we are making a faux fur trimmed jean jacket. I saw this, I saw a vintage version in the vintage store and I was like, oh my goodness, I could totally make this jacket because they tend to be kind of expensive. So for the fraction of the price, you can make a fur trimmed jacket yourself, which is wild because we're also doing it without sewing. So this is how the jacket came out. Guys, do you, does this look like a DIY? Seriously, comment below if it looks like a DIY or if it looks like the jacket just came that way because I personally think it looks like the jacket came that way. So I'm going to show you how I created this DIY. Keep watching this video. Hey. For this DIY, you're going to need a denim jacket, fur trim, fabric glue, scissors, measuring tape, and a container with a paintbrush. First thing I did was measure out all the trim pieces that I'm going to need. So I'm going to need two for the sleeves, one for the lapel, and one long one for the bottom of the hem. I started off by measuring the sleeves and measuring it out onto the trim and then cutting it out. For the lapel, I measured it just using the fur trim and I started it four inches above the hem because I'm going to put trim on the bottom and the trim is about four inches wide. So I started up there to see how much I needed and then I cut from there. So you can measure either using the trim or you can measure out using a measuring tape, measure it onto the trim and cut it out. Then it's time to glue. If you watch my fur trimmed jeans, you'll know that I use this glue and it is very runny. So you want to make sure you put it in a container and use a paintbrush to apply it. Do not use it straight from the bottle. It will create a mess. I started off gluing the lapel first and I'm starting 4 inches above the hem because that's where I want the trim to start. And then I am just started gluing it on. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure I'm lining up the edge of the trim to the edge of the jacket. That is the most important part. And then you can go back and glue the other side of the trim on. But as long as you have the edges even and nice, that is what really matters. And then I'm just gluing all the way around. I'm keeping the jacket collar as is and I'm gluing over it because I want it to lay naturally. And that's the best way to do it. You won't even know that there's a collar underneath, so it doesn't even matter. jacket I bought had a little split in the back and I wanted to just glue that together because it will make it easier when I'm gluing on the fur trim to the hem. And then I just start off doing the same technique with the hem and just gluing the edges first, making sure that's lined up perfectly and then just working my way all around the bottom of the jacket. So despite my calculations, I was a little bit short. This is why I usually like to measure with the product that I'm using rather than measuring tape, but you know, it is what it is. And I just ended up adding a piece of fur and gluing it on to just add the extra length. So that's the nice part about it. It's so fluffy, you won't even know if you mess up. So just don't panic and just add a little piece of fur and you'll be okay. And then I finished off by gluing some fur trim to the sleeves. I started at the seam because that gives you a nice straight line to line up the trim against and I just worked around the edge of the sleeve until it was all glued on. And that is it. I'm obsessed with this jacket. It looks expensive. It looks like I bought it that way. You would never know that I glued this trim on. The beautiful part about this glue is it's permanent. It's strong. Your fur will not be going anywhere, honey. So I hope you love this DIY as much as I do. If you try it, be sure to hashtag Miss Inosha DIY. Like this video, subscribe, share it with a friend, and I'll see you guys next time.